Hello, so welcome. Now then, what we haven't spoken very much about in the last two days is the financial services industry. And of course, uh, based on what I said before, financial services, uh, banks, but for also financial markets are extremely important in this relentless revolution of capitalism. Without banks, it would have been impossible to transport capital from England in the 19th century to build the railways in America. Um, without financial markets, we would not have the instant transmission of information from one sector of one, one part of the globe to another. We had a very fascinating paper by Patrick Bolton, who in fact spelled optimism by saying that financial markets today are already pricing in the kind of carbon risk uh, that we have been talking about, especially on the first day. On the other hand, we also know that financial services and banks in particular are not uncontroversial in this uh, relentless revolution. JP Morgan, yes, he transported the capital from England to America, but he also facilitated the horizontal merger of companies into gigantic trusts um, that were then bust up by antitrust. Hilferding talked about Finanzkapital in Germany, basically the banks playing a role in doing the same thing, creating cartels in Germany at the expense of consumers. We had recurrent financial crises, the latest in 2007, 2008, that have shattered public confidence in capitalism and financial institutions. And we are very lucky with, to have two outstanding representatives of the banking industry with us today. Uh, one uh, plays a very important role in providing uh, finance in Asia and also development finance. And the other one, in fact, is one of the oldest uh, Catalan institutions that had a purpose and uh, a benefit, I would even go for, as far as to say a benefit corporation status for a very long time. So I'll stop here. And uh, uh, we have uh, six more minutes left before the first panel kicks off. I think you'll be shown two small videos uh, recapping what has already been said, other things that have been said on day one and day two. And uh, in case nobody does so, I would also like to take the opportunity to introduce the moderator of the first panel, uh, Professor Jill Fish. Uh, she's from the Pennsylvania Law School. Uh, she heads there the Institute of uh, Law and Economics. Uh, and Jill is also, in her own right, a very prolific contributor to the um, purpose uh, literature. Uh, and she is also uh, a board member uh, of the ECGI. So with this, I stop, Jody. Maybe you want to add something. Uh, and if not, we then uh, play the video and we reconvene in five minutes to kick off the first panel uh, with Jill. Uh, Rebecca and Jody Guad. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Marco. A very, very good uh, overview of the day. So we're looking forward to the two sessions this uh, this third date of the conference. Thank you very much, and we we were reconnecting in a few minutes. Thank you.